What's up YouTube? Hey, back with another video. And today, um, I've been meaning to do this video for a while. This is Bike Essentials Part 2. And today I'm gonna talk about five more items that I think every mountain biker should invest in and get for their bike. I'm gonna make this very quick, so let's get started. So number one, um, everyone's gonna need a set of these. These are, these are your actual um, hex wrench sets. Um, which come with a three millimeter, 3.5, and then they have the um, the four millimeter, five millimeter, and six millimeter on this particular one, and it has the T25 on this one as well. So <clears throat> these right here actually are going to come in handy um, when in the garage when working on the bike. Yes, there's other tools that have the same actual um, hex wrench. Um, diameters on it but these are probably at least in my opinion some of the most easiest to use these are made by portland you can get these on amazon i'll actually put the link in the description um, the cool thing about these is uh, they don't break as easy easily as the small ones do um, they're portable you know you can put them in your actual bike case or bat bike storage and carry them on the trail with you um, they're just easy to use and they're comfortable to use and you don't have to go looking for different sizes everything you probably need is going to be on these two right here now this particular set also came with a bike pedal wrench um, for your bike as well I think it was like 23 or 24 dollars for the whole set but um, they do sell these individually and there's different companies that sell them as well so I definitely recommend a set of these uh, they're going to come in more handy than you will ever know and they're just easy to use that's the most important thing is just they're they're able you know you can you can use these very very simply they're comfortable it has a rubber setting um, and you don't have to go searching uh, like you have to do the other sizes the sizes are actually labeled on there I don't know if you can see it but it actually has like six here there's your four and then here's your five and then here they have them in white lettering on this one so yeah, they're just, they're just easier and more um, compact uh, than the other one. So, highly recommend those. My second item that I recommend is a roll of skateboard grip tape. Now, I bought this off Amazon as well. The thing about this is they give you a whole lot of it. I think I paid like $8 for this amount, maybe like $10. Um, you don't really need this much, but it has come in more handy and I've actually helped others by giving them a little bit of it as well but basically what this is used for is I cut like a strip of it off and then I cut I actually trace around the shifters of the um, on the bike where I'm shifting gears and then I cut it out and I basically place it on those shifters and what it does is just give you extra grip on the shifters um, you may not think you need it, but I'm telling you, at least down here in Florida, when you're sweating as much as I sweat when I'm on the trails, it's easily just for my thumb to slip on the shifter without this grip. And this grip makes a big difference. Like my fingers don't slip at all. It's just, it's just an easy, smooth transaction um, when I'm shifting gears. So highly recommend some grip tape for that reason. You can also put this on your pedals. Um, I still have, I put it on both of my bikes, the pedal, actually all three of my bikes. And so far it's lasted on one of the pedals though, it is starting to kind of shift around and move a little bit, but it's still there and it just gives you a little bit more extra grip uh, for the pedals. Um, it's not a whole lot of space on my pedal to put it on, but there is a little bit of space on there and I did do that. So it is good for that reason as well. My third item I'm going to talk about is a mud guard. And it amazes me when I'm on the trails, I kind of look at everyone's bike, even if it's just a glance. Um, you'll see a lot of people with mud guards, but I'll see probably just as many people without them. And I just don't know why people don't have them, um, especially in the front of the bike. I, I guess in Florida it rains so much here and, and there's always like mud or, or rain somewhere on the road or on, on the trail. Or even, you know, just when I'm out riding in my neighborhood. Um, so this comes in handy for me. This actually definitely um, uh, keeps me dry, keeps me from getting muddy, keeps me from getting wet. Um, it uh, deflects the actual mud, rocks, and rain um, when I'm on my bikes. 
Now, I don't have one in the back of my bike, and I, I eventually will get one for that, but I highly recommend one of these for the front. I got this particular one on Amazon. Um, these range anywhere as cheap as five to 20 bucks. This depends on the graphic, how big it is, the name brand of it, things of that nature, but I'll put this one in the description below. This one actually, I think, is sold out on Amazon. Um, it's a pretty cool graphic. But I got other graphic ones on my um, on my other bikes as well, and this one's made by RideGuard, and they make a lot of cool, durable ones on there. So get a mudguard for your bike. Um, yeah, I mean it just takes a little bit of effort to put it on, but it doesn't. It's not that hard. It's not that difficult. But you definitely will be grateful and appreciate it when you see um, how much it can deflect um, from hitting you. Uh, whether it's mud, rain, rocks, dirt, gravel, whatever. Get a mud guard. You definitely need one of those. Um, my fourth item is storage for your bike. Now, um, I have three bikes and I have three of these. So I spent 20 bucks a piece. I think actually I think they're on sale for like 17 or 16 on Amazon. This is by a company called Cool Change. It's a very aerodynamic storage uh, unit for the bike. Um, this is a brand new one that I'm going to put on my bike in North Carolina, so I haven't even used this one yet. Um, it comes with all the installation um, items that you need to hook it onto the bottom of your seat. Once you put this on the bottom of your seat, it just clicks in here and then it hangs on the back of the bike. And there's enough storage for everything that you need in here. I mean, you can put a cell phone in there, you can put your extra... Um, uh, I mean, I, what I usually put in mine are like band-aids, first aid stuff in there. I put, um, you know, one of them, um, I have the, uh, the, I can't even think of the name of it, but the items you use to change the tire on the bike, I got those in there. Some of them you put a spare, um, a spare uh, tire lube um, in just in case you get a flat. I mean, there's, there's different items you can fit in here, but this is a pretty big storage space on here. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend this one and I'll put it in the link for the description as well. Um, once you snap it underneath the seat, it also has a tie on for the, for the seat um, as well so that it's, it stays in place and doesn't move. Um, this rinses off very well, it's a kind of a padded hard material and so rain, mud, dirt doesn't, doesn't affect it at all so it's easy to clean as well. And for my last item. Okay, so I want to talk about a couple of things um, that can help protect your shins when you're out there. So I do have elbow protection. I made a video about the POC guards that I have for my elbows and legs and I have knee protection. Um, I don't have shin protection on those items. So I used two different methods on protecting my shins and you know, sometimes that pedal it can it can still hit in the spot that the shin protection doesn't work in and I still have scars and scrapes almost um, every other time I go out on the trail the pedals usually get me at some point so there's a couple of things that I've I personally use and you don't have to do this but it's just a cheaper method um, instead of buying more expensive um, shin guards the POC knee guards do go down a bit but the protection that gets to my shin is just like a layer of clothes. It's not like any padded or any type of um, plastic protection to help me there. So this is what I do. Two options you can use. One, you can use some soccer, um, some soccer shin guards. So like for example, and I bought a few, this isn't my only one, Nike has these, um, which is kind of cool. Basically what you do is you just put your foot in this this is this goes underneath the bottom of the foot and so basically what it looks like your foot would be right here and this protects the um, the actual lower shin part of your leg um, and so yeah hard plastic nothing's gonna go through this um, it's gonna protect a lot I have some other ones like this that are a little bit bigger I think these are size medium but I have some larges that are that are even a little bit taller than this so it protects more of my leg um, so yeah, I do use these and yeah, it may look crazy out there or whatever. I mean, it protects my, my, uh, my shins pretty well. So that's one option. And then this is what a lot of people don't know about as well. Nike also makes 
a actual shin protection sock where the shin is built in the shin guard is built into the sock this is an actual sock and so just like any other sock but it has a built-in shin guard in it and I'm just going to kind of show you behind it what it looks like so it's like a padded shin guard and this too is kind of hard it's like a it's it's not as hard as this plastic is here but it is still a hard material that's in it um only thing about these these go up to a size large and I think this is yeah, I'm sorry this is size large slash extra large which is the largest you can get and it still feels a little bit tight on my foot um, well not tight it doesn't feel tight on my foot I'm sorry it's just hard to get on my foot once I maneuver the shin guard and kind of get it I have to kind of twist it around but once I get it on my foot it's very very comfortable and the shin guard is protecting me a lot now this protection right here you got to understand that if you have like the Chester pedals or some pedals that have like the built-in little screws for grip and things of that nature or they're a little bit sharp it is probably going to go through this and do a little bit of damage um, but you know for the most part these do hold up pretty well uh, I think they're like I want to say like 12 bucks on Nike.com um, if you go to some of your Nike stores that sell them, you can probably get them for cheaper than that. I've seen them probably as cheap as seven or eight bucks. Uh, but hey, the cool thing about this is it's, just, it's a regular sock that just has a shin guard built in and it does protect. Like this has helped me a lot um, out there on the trail. So if you can pick these up, um, I would just do, when you go to Nike.com, you know, go to the search and I'll, put it, I'll find it and put it in the description as well for you guys. It's, as well and they have three different colors they have the black ones the white ones and they have the vault like a lime green color as well so those help protect the shins as well and other than that guys I just want to make a quick video it's only five items um, but those are some necessities I think it's good to have or, or to think about getting if you're getting into the sport and uh, that's about it I want to make this video kind of quick and short if you have any questions put them down below and I will see you on the next video be safe on the trails peace